hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to design this model from start card cam site we'll design this model as a practical exercise in freecad so if you want this drink and your respective file you can download on my grab card site and please if you like the videos i have made consider donating to the channel in this link that is appearing below in this video thank you so now what we do in the start page, we create a new document and here we select path design workbench. And next we create a new body and a new sketch, the sketch in YZ plane. Okay, and what you will draw here in this sketch, here we will draw this section view here, we will draw this part, we will draw a sketch for this part. So first here we will zoom out and and next select this polling tool and draw this line here in this way and now this horizontal line and now this line here okay and now we draw this this vertical line and now click on this point here and next we have to do this fillet here so what we do here we select this fillet tool and now these two lines and we get this fillet Okay, and next here, we'll set the dimensions of, of the sketch here. Okay, so first here we select these two points. And we set constant. Okay, and now we select this constraint here. And for this arc, we'll set a range of 150. Okay, and next for, we have this dimension here, 150 for this line here. Okay, and now we have this angle here. So what to do is to select this constraint here and now these two lines and we set six. Okay, and now we select these two points, these two lines. And here we see this angle here, 68. Okay, and what we'll do next Next here we have this dimension of this line here, 306. So here first we'll drag this point here and now select this constraint here and this set dimension here. Okay, and now we have one degree of freedom. So what we'll do next? Next we have to set this dimension here, this vertical dimension. So we select this vertical distance tool and now this point here and this point. And here we'll set this dimension. Okay, and now this sketch is full constrained, so we'll leave this sketch here. And next, press home, and you can see the sketch. And now, here we go to the pet tool. And first, here we we'll check these options, similar to plane, and the link here will set. Linked here, we'll set here. We have this dimension, so we change here and okay. And next, what we have to do is to create this pocket here. To create the pocket here, we have to select this face and next select this thickness tool. Okay, and first, here we check this option make thickness inwards, and the thickness here will set, we'll set this dimension here foot. Okay, and now click OK and we see this pocket here. So next here we'll create this part here. Okay, so now we have to create a sketch for this part. So what we do here, here we create a new sketch. This sketch in white, sorry. We can create this sketch in this face here. So select this face and now create a new sketch okay and next here select this tool and extract these two edges okay and now select this polling tool and now draw this vertical line and next this horizontal line and now this line in this way and now click on this point and we set this line here horizontal and now here we'll set the dimension of this sketch. So first here we have this angle here, 20 degrees. So first we'll select this constraint here. 
and now these two lines and we said 20 degrees okay and now here we'll set these this vertical dimension here 25 so what we'll do is to select this tool here and now this point and this point here and we said 25 okay and and next here we have this horizontal dimension so here we select this horizontal distance tool and we set 106 for this line here okay and now we select this point here and this point and we'll set a distance of here we have this dimension so we change here and okay and now we have one degree of freedom so what you'll do here is to select this point and now this line here and now we select this constraint here so now the sketch is full constrained next we leave this sketch and now select this pet tool and first here we set reversed and we change linked here here we'll set a length of 120 okay so now as you can see we have this part here next we go to the model and now select this pad here and go to this tool here linear pattern and here we'll change the duration to x axis and now we set reverse duration and the length here we'll set we'll set this dimension minus 120 and we get this part here and here we'll change the number of occurrence to 6 and now click OK and now we have these parts here and next here we'll create this part this part here so so here we'll create a new sketch in YZ plane. Okay, and here we'll extract this edge and this edge here and now this edge and we we'll switch to section here now. Okay, and now select this rounded rectangle tool and draw this rectangle in this way. And next here we'll draw these two cycles. So we we'll select this cycle tool and now a cycle in this point here and now this cycle here and we set these two cycles equal and next we set the reads of this arc to 75 and we set the diameter of these cycles to 76 okay and And next here we'll set this horizontal distance here so what we'll do first first here we select this polling tool and now click in this point in this line here and draw this line okay and now click here and now in this line here and now select this trim tool and trim this line here and now this line and next here we select these lines and we delete okay and now these two lines we set parallel okay and here we have to extra this h2 and now select this symmetric constraint and we set symmetric okay and now we can set this distance here so we select this horizontal distance tool now this point and this point here and we set the dimension here and enter okay and next here we see this angle so we select this constraint here and now this line and this edge here and we set 120 degrees okay and here we see this dimension here between these center points so we select this 
horizontal distance tool and now these two points and he always said 385 okay and this line here must be vertical okay and now we have three degrees of freedom so next here here we see this distance here so we will select first here we'll extract this edge and next we select this vertical distance tool select this point and now this center point and here we'll set the length of here we have this dimension okay and now we have two degrees of freedom so here we have to set we select this tangent constraint and we set these two lines tangent and now we have one degree of freedom so let's hide this and now click here okay here we have to delete this point okay and now this sketch is full continued so we leave this sketch and next here we have to change the attachment of this sketch here so we go to model and select this sketch here and now we're going to click on mouse and go to this option okay and what we'll do here is to change the value of the z duration we'll change the z duration to the half of the estimation here so you will set this formula okay and now click ok and next select this pad tool and the length of this pad here will set fifth okay and now click ok and next here we select this pad operation and we go to the mirror tool and what we have to do here is to change the plane to yz plane okay and now we set ok okay uh, yes as you can see we finished the design of this model here thank you for watching this video